a great position to potentially get the score he needs. Paddling hard into this wave. He's up and out. Yep, he had to. He saw that the wave wasn't going to give the, give him the sections that he needed to get those big scores. So he kicks out. Why? Because he has priority. He still has enough time on the clock. If La Bocana gods give him that opportunity, he needs just one wave, Chris. And a 5.53 will send him into second position. And with that, keep his Olympic aspirations alive. So that last, that last roll of the dice that Brian Perez threw onto the table by taking off on that wave will not come back to haunt him because he still maintains that top priority spot, meaning he has his choice of waves. He's only got 2 minutes and 45 seconds to go. A 5-5-3 five, five, is the score that he needs to keep himself in Olympic qualification contention. This is where these surfers have to dig deep. Mental fortitude is going to be right there at the top. Surf, they don't apply here. Brian can catch any wave that he wants, and with surfing like that, this was wave number one, and unfortunately for him, it just didn't give him another inside section. But it has been the Miguel Tudela show, this 26-year-old from Punta Hermosa. Now, winding up on his backhand, beautiful start. Through to this mid portion of the wave, one more setup turn, looking for a 5-5-3, big finish there. Has room for one, oh two more my. turns. Clutch. Another Clutch. slam on the inside section. Brian Perez representing <laughs> our host nation, El Salvador, in an incredible way on that last wave. Will that be a clutch performance with a minute and a half to go? Well, it was already clutch. How do you keep your cool? How can you kick out of a great wave with three minutes remaining and decide that not good enough? wait and get a better looking left hander as we see another wave coming through that wave will most likely do it for brian perez and now it is going to be up to luca messinas and miguel tudela to see what they can do on this exchange here we go la machina luca messinas on this wave he is trying to get a 553 beautiful carves on the outside keeping his cool connecting with the lip vertical on the third maneuver Makes his way all the way to the inside. Tail goes free, and he is stoked on that. Looking at it from this angle, you can really see him focusing on the lip line. Low compression, caressing the wave with his left hand. Connects and belts that section, pushing water and going very vertical. Top to bottom, flow from beginning to end. A little bit more radical on that last maneuver. That wave comes in at a 5.87.